Okay, so in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the Bulwark with Thunders. Um, recently, I did a video uh, covering the Fury uh, Thunder, but I had Battleborn and Last Stand. And, you know, while I was reading some of the comments, um, someone actually mentioned, uh, you know, have you tried uh, the Bulwark with Thunders uh, because it has three passive modules? And I thought about it and I was like, you know what, that's actually a really good idea. So um, I decided to put two... Uh, Thunder's uh, on the Bulwark and I have three Thermo Nukes on there. Uh, the nice thing is that you have a physical shield as well as an Aegis shield. And uh, I think it's going to be interesting to see you know, how that works out. Um, just started off here with the Strider trying to create some chaos on there and uh, you know, get that side beacon if I can. And if I can take out this uh, Harbor that's going to be good. I'm uh, not healing up because I actually want to get out of this bot. I know a lot of players ask me, you know, why do you want to get out of the bot? You have so much health, you have your weapons. Um, just because, you know, I want to feature uh, the Bulwark, you know, this uh, video is about it. So that's why I kind of do that. Um, I do tend to alter my gameplay uh, quite often, actually, when I'm uh, trying to get footage of something. So here we go. Uh, this is the Bulwark with uh, two Thunders. We have uh, three Thermo Nukes on here, as well as, um, you know, damage and our attack and defense uh, boosters, if you will. So we have that, I'm um, keeping an eye on, there's actually a player over here, I gotta be careful of him. Sort of moving this way, I'm waiting for this guy. I don't know if he's, did he use his stealth? Let's see, we can rotate here. Sometimes if you are far enough back, you can actually hit a player that's in stealth, uh, especially with like shotgun weapons. So this guy's running around like a maniac here, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to take him out. So let's do that. Let our thunders uh, sort of regenerate. What does that guy have? Okay, so he has the pulsar weapon. I'm uh, just moving back here. I have been uh, experiencing actually some lag on this test server, or not test server, rather, um, you know, on the live server because there is a special test server uh, happening right now, uh, featuring um, like an April Fool's uh, test server, you know, with the Robo Duck. So if you guys haven't yet uh, checked out my live stream on that, uh, be sure to do that. I'll put a link, uh, you know, in the uh, description as well as, uh, you know, sort of a link on the top right of your screen. So you should be able to uh, see that. Um, by the time you guys actually see this video, it would have ended. But uh, that was a lot of fun as well. I'm just moving closer here to these guys on the left side. I'm trying to get close. Um, I'm finding that this build is very similar actually to the Carnage Thunder. Um, with one exception, you don't have a rush. You've got to get really, really close. You can see the glitching going on here. See so if we can get uh, this uh, Inquisitor. So I'm going to move back here. See so if we can get some of these guys. I actually want... Yep, and I'm going to put up my shield. Let's see if we can get them from close range. Actually, it's even better if they do get that beacon, because then they're going to drop in here. Since this is beacon rush. And... That guy took uh, quite a hit there with... Oh, they got another guy. Let's see if we can get him. Yes. Put that shield up here. We gotta regenerate. Gonna move this way, actually. I've gotta move out of here because there's a, there's a spectre to my left here. Where did he go? Try to wear this guy out. Yeah, this guy here is in the Spectre Orkin, so i got to be very careful. I'm not sure about this player, um, but there's one in front of me who also has a Spectre Orkin, uh, which means I've really got to get back here. Let me just try to see if I can heal, uh, because I have to deal with this player here, and I have no idea. Oh, that's a Lancelot. <laughs> it's kind of funny. He actually saw me, and then he kind of backtracked, but I'm not really worried about him. It's a Spectre Orkin that I'm worried about. And he just got locked down. So I'm going to put my shield up here. Let's see if we can rotate. I'm trying to get past on this side. Let's get that guy. I've got to get out of here. Because this guy has the Spectre Orkin. And what does this one have here? Okay, so we're dealing with the Pursuer as well. 
You know what? He's probably gonna. Yep, he's gonna run this way. Gotta catch him by surprise if we can. Oh man, he's getting cornered. That should do it. Let's just move this way. They have three players. Uh oh. That's not one that I want to run into. At least we know that uh, the Mercury has used his uh, jump ability. That means he can't hell dive me, but I don't know what this guy has. Let's turn on that shield. Let's knock this guy's uh, shield down. I'm trying to get him from kind of close range. I have no idea what this. Oh, ooh, this is not going to be fun. Just try to heal up here. And then I'm gonna use my shield. And come on, get him. Yes, he's got lost then. Let's alternate here. Alternating my shield so that he can't break it. Yeah, I need to uh we might need to heal up here. What is this guy in? Oh, he's got Orkins, that's even worse. <laughs> I gotta move this way. Let me just heal up. We've got a shield here, so we know that. And there is this Mender here, which I could try to take out actually from close range. He's, uh, these thunders actually aren't that bad from close range. So we can try to get him. Alternate my shield here, because it needs to regenerate. Ah, <laughs> um, I think my I think my physical shield was actually blown off there. That's why I was uh, taking that damage. But uh, so far. You know, it looks like we're in pretty good shape, and I think that is probably game. Nope, there's still one more player here. Let's see if we can get uh, close enough to do some damage uh, to this guy. Did he get locked? Um, no he didn't. Kind of looked like he got locked down. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, the Bulwark with Thunders. And I do have three Thermo Nukes on there, as well as um, attack and defense boosters we ended up uh, doing. Um, over 1 million damage uh, with that. So over the games that I've actually played with the setup, it wasn't that bad. Kind of reminded me, as I said, of the Carnage Thunders. Uh, worked really well on like Carrier Map, uh, Dead City, you know, even uh, Power Plant. Uh, you know, all these maps with a lot of cover so you can hide because that's pretty much, uh, you know, how you want to play this build. You do have to be very careful though because if you are running, you know, all the Thermo Nukes on there, you don't have Last Stand. And uh, I don't know how that's going to do in high level champion league i would imagine uh, not that great but it is still a fun build and it does uh, it does work so um yeah i just wanted to show you guys uh, you know this um, because i know a couple of you were kind of curious about it and uh, let me know your thoughts on it have you guys been running you know your bulwark with thunders uh, if you have how have you been finding it and as always i hope you guys enjoy this video if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribed consider subscribing until the next video i'll catch you guys later